Hi, my name is Indar Tivisla, and today I'm going to try to present my mini research. My mini research and the construction of objectivity in translated Bikran Rakyat News report, thematic structures analysis in COVID-19 topic. So um, this presentation will have outline first, justification and significance, second research question, issues being raised, framework used, uh, next data collection, data analysis, findings and conclusion. Now let's start with the first one, justification and significance. This study are important to conduct in order to gain an understanding of the translation process to facilitate the translators in producing good translation. The study might contribute to add to the knowledge of studies on translation. The reason to choose COVID-19 issues is because it has become the center of attention for many countries all around the world. And this study chose Pikran Rakyat because it was a worthy of the most responsible media group in 2011. So it was really interesting for me because I want to see whether it's still related to uh, today's media group or it is only in 2011. Next, research question. So what pattern of thematic structures are identified in the original news reports and their Indonesian translation? Second, what type of translation shifts are identified in Indonesian translation of news reports? And the last one is, what do the pattern of thematic structure and translation shifts signify? Now, issues being raised. The result of translation yield a variety of ways of ordering the constituent of the sentence from the source language. Translators and journalists also require high responsibility to explain events and circumstances of other culture. English to Indonesian language and vice versa oftentimes inverted in some of the structures in the text. So that is the reason why I choose this topic. Fourth frameworks used. In this research, I'm using uh, Halijay Systemic Functional Linguistics, specifically in meta textual metafunction. And the second one is New Mux um, in 1988, translation shift. Now, data collection. So the articles were taken from five online news articles with COVID-19 topic along with their translation published from 18th September to 21st of September, 2020. The articles were taken from Pikiran Rakyat on World Nagri rubric, which were mainly taken from Reuters and The Guardian. Data analysis. The data were analyzed using systemic functional linguistics and translation shift. First, the data were labeled using particular code um, English news reports were labeled using the initial code ST, which means source text, while the translated news reports were labeled using the initial code TT, which means target text. Next, they were examined on their thematic structures and translation shift, both in original and translation text. Finally, the findings were analyzed to see the differences between source text and target text in terms of thematic and translation shift that appear in the news report. So the data analysis will be analyzing first the theme and ring in the close. So theme is the first position of the close is, that is often described as the main concern of the writer or we can say that is a focus point of the close. Then RIM, 
is the rest of the clothes that attach to the focus point or the first position of the clothes. Now let's see the example. There is a clause called the US coronavirus death could almost double to about 400,000 by February, an influential model predicts. So the theme in this clause, we can see that the US coronavirus death, because this is the first position of the clause. And this is the focus point in the clause as well. So we can see that the rim is the rest of the clause or the rest of the sentence. Could almost double to about 400,000 by February, an influential model predicts. That is describing the first or the focus point of the clause. Second one is Florida, which over the summer became the country's hotspot is ripe for another large outbreak and an infectious disease expert told CNN. So it is the same on um, the first point or the first position of the close is Florida, which over the summer and described by the ring or the rest of the close, which has became the country's hotspot is right for another large outbreak and infectious disease expert told CNN. Now the data analysis uh, for translation shift. The first level shift, according to Cut Forward uh, 1965, level shift occurs when grammar shift lapses of vocabulary. For example, from source text, it says, I'm working. And from the target text, aku sedang bekerja, means I'm working, translated to Indonesian language. That is, aku sedang bekerja. Working is on the, like, the verb plus in, which means present tense, it's happening. And uh, in the target text, it's moved, it shifts into aku sedang bekerja. Working into sedang bekerja, it was the shift to lapses. Second one is unit shift. Unit shift is the shift of unit from source text, such as word to phrase. For example, there is uh, from source text, we can see that my watch is expensive and it's translated to target text, which means jam tangan, saya mahal. My watch is expensive, jam tangan saya mahal. So the word is bold here, watch, became jam tangan. It is shift from word to phrase. The third structure shift, Structure shift occur when the element of the sentence is shifted. For example, from source text, we can we have the book is thick, and it's translated to target text buku itu tebal. So I was underlining this into M and H. H means head, and M is modifier. So we can see that the sentence element is shifted from modifier and head into head to modifier. So this is called structure shift. The next one is class shift. Class shift um, appears when class of words in source text shifted in target text. For example, we have from source text, he walking slowly. And it's translated to the target text, which is dia berjalan lambat. Slowly here, I underlined and also uh, bolding the words. Uh, it was adverbial and it shifts in the target text into adjective, which is lambat. 
ejected. The last one is intrasystem shift. Intrasystem shift occur within systems that show a shift in singular and plural. For example, we have from South Tech, some Denise people are humble. And it's translated to um, target tax, which means Orang Sunda Rama. So people here are so many, like it's plural, and it's shift into Orang Sunda Rama, means Orang. Orang here uh, is singular, so it shift. It's called intrasystem shift. Now still data analysis. For, for example, for the translation shift, uh, there is single translation shift. From source text, for example, we have Gide became becomes the first and only company to receive approval for a COVID-19 treatment in the US, according to the companies. And it's translated to target text, which is Gilead juga menjadi yang pertama dan satu-satunya yang mendapatkan izin produksi dan penggunaan Remdesivir di Amerika Serikat. We have here that it is a single translation shift and these bold words have the shift of intrasystem shift. As you can see that it's about plural and singular become the first into satu satu. Now we have double translation shift. It is found in the text that I um, analyze. It is uh, from South text. We have, he said that if coordinated measures were not taken, a mi microscopic virus could push millions of people into poverty and hunger with devastating economic effects in the years to come. So it's translated into target text, which is menurutnya, jika langkah-langkah terkoordinasi tidak dilakukan, virus mikroskopis itu dapat mendorong jutaan orang jatuh ke dalam. So we have the bold words here, coordinated measures, and langkah-langkah uh, terkoordinasi. So this one is having double translation shift, which is the first, the um, intrasystem shift, which is from plural into singular. And uh, also another one is the class shift, which is shifting the word from M to H and H to M, head and modifier. Now let's see the findings of what I analyzed from five news articles. There are types of translation shift of thematic structures found in the texts. Now uh, there is a type of theme shift and the frequency that is appear in the text is 15 times, which is 30, 31%. And uh, another one is theme shift. Uh, the frequency, it's just appear once in the text, um, which is 2% in the percentage. And another one is no shift at all. Means there's no, there is found that there is no change or shift in the text. The frequency happening is 33 times and in the percentage is 67%. Now we can see the findings for translation shift. For the single translation shift, the first one is structure shift. It's um, appear for 60 times. Uh, from 20, 225 total close in the text for 
for the class shift, it's happened for 57 times and uh, it happened for 25%. The unit shift, three, 34 times for 15%. An intrasystem shift, uh, 19 times for 8%. You can see also we found that double translation shift. Structures and unit shift happen 10 times and 4%. Unit and interest system shifts happened in 15 times for 7%. And close and non unit shift happened three times in the, in the text, which is 1%. And no translation shift is for the 20 seven times out of 225 close, which is 12% out of 100%. So the conclusion from the findings, we can conclude that to answer the first question, it is concluded that Pikran Rakya tried to manage the pattern of being unbiased in writing the news reports though it is found that 31% of the clauses from the text were shifted from source text to target text, which means the other 69% were remained unbiased. Second, it is found that the writers applied some types of translation shifts that were coming from the category shifts, which means structures, unit, class, level shift, like what I mentioned before. Hence, it comes to the conclusion that the writer was translating words into faithful translation. Finally, as realized in the data analysis to answer the third question, it is concluded that Pikiran Rakya tried to translate the text that makes translator transfer the grammatical structure from the source text to target text with focusing on the categories and the clause. As I mentioned, there, is, there are structures, unit, class, and level sheets. I think that's all from me. Thank you.